guys, Mars Singing here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so very soon we have the easy A for this uh, Spirit Bomb Absorbed Super Saiyan Goku, uh, affectionately known by many in the community as Gumku, thanks to that amazing KO screen, the close-up that you get from his 18 key super. Um, so his easy A looks pretty solid. Um, it's obviously coming out on JP. By the time this video goes up, I think the event comes out in um, about 11 hours, something like that. Um, it's 8 a.m. UK, so midnight PST. Um, I'll be live streaming the Easy A. comes out at the same time with the Blue Kaioken Goku. Um, I'll be doing a team building guide for that one as well. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look. Now, there isn't a page on the wiki, but it is a standard LR Easy A. So it'll be 10 stages. You get three stones for beating each stage. And then the LR ones usually have one single mission, which is for beating stage 7, which will give you three stones. So by the time you've done the whole thing, it will be 33 stones in total. Uh, the weakness category is Target Goku. So as always with these LR Extreme Z battles, the category is what allows the uh, units to tank, right? So non-Target Goku units will take loads of extra damage in this event. Um, so target Goku is how you want to build your team mainly, but then when it comes to offense It's the legendary power link being active that allows you to deal the most damage So you want to try and have as many LRs on the team as possible Though it is possible to do these LR easy A's with full TUR teams as I have done this before It just takes longer right because you get to do extra damage with the legendary power link So as always with my team building guides I'm going to go through my top picks and honorable mentions here for this uh, team build uh, if there's any units you think I miss out or I should talk more about let me know down below in the comments section And if you do find the guide helpful at all do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new So jumping straight in we obviously have the Android 13 Dokkan Fest who is the target Goku leader uh, 3 key HP 130 attack and defense 170 He's a little bit outdated nowadays um, But of course he is the straight up target Goku leader So there are quite a few different options that we are going to go through in this video of how you can build different teams But if you don't have enough of the units to build one of the sort of themed teams based around one of the other categories then obviously this guy is going to be good just because his leader skill straight up just covers everybody in the category right so if you have like one or two of some of the units that we're going to talk about going forward but not enough to run them all on a theme team like we have a bunch of wicked bloodline characters a bunch of android units um, if you need to mix and match them based on what you've got in your box then obviously this guy's leader skill is going to be the most useful um he doesn't transform until turn 5, which you're not likely to see in an easy A. But obviously remember he does get a guaranteed crit against the Goku. So if you do ever see the transformation, he'll do some decent damage against him at the end. But probably not very likely to see him transform. Um, we have the free-to-play uh, Androids 14 and 15 uh, that obviously got an easy A. They are a target Goku leader for 3 key and 77%. Although there are better free-to-play options, to be honest, if you are lacking on one of the major leaders. But these guys can be pretty good if you run them with Android 13. If you have them in, uh, if they get onto the same rotation as him, untransformed, you get to see enemy super attacks for the rest of the battle, which can obviously be very, very useful. So these guys can be good on the team, just to kind of provide a little bit of uh, extra utility. But they're probably not a top pick, right? They're just a free-to-play option. Because uh, we also have the LR Androids, the old school friend LR. They have an extreme, well, all types, 4 key and 80%. So their leader skill is already better than theirs uh, without being restricted to the category. So these guys, probably one of the better free-to-play options for leads. They also support the team, right? 4 key, 50% defense. Uh, so that's going to be very useful. Plus they're an LR activating that link. We're fighting a super class enemy, so they get their full passive active. So these guys will be very, very good on the team. Uh, next up, we have the LR Super 17, my boy. Mishandled though he may be, obviously in this event, he will be very, very good. Uh, his leader skill GT bosses or androids, he can be a very solid option to lead a full androids team because the majority of the android units are on target Goku. So a really good build will be to have this guy as the leader, 
um, and just run a full Android Steam. Because he gives four key and 150, you get that little bit of extra key, get those LRs hitting those 18 key supers, getting that legendary power link propped, and then obviously you should be able to go through quite easily. So you probably won't, well, maybe, I guess, depending on how the attacks are spread out, but you're not super likely to see his active skill. He has to get hit seven times. Um, but I do think for this event in particular, this guy can be a very solid choice and a full Android team is definitely going to work well. We already looked at the friend LR Androids. Uh, we have units like the physical, uh, the old LR Android 17, 18, and they can exchange into 16. Uh, these guys also have an Androids leader skill 4 key 150. Um, they also support Androids allies built in chance to dodge. Um, you can exchange into uh, Android 16 when HP is 66% or less with another two Android allies on the team. So if you do happen to take like a big hit in the first turn, especially as you get to the later stages, maybe you eat a super on the first turn, you'll be able to exchange into 16 straight away. Very, very good defensive unit. Um, I really want this unit to get an easy A. I was such a huge fan of this unit when it first came out. Um, they do really need an easy A to be relevant in some of the more difficult content. But for an easy A, um, they should still be quite useful on the team. We also have units like the Jero and 19. Um, they get a lot of defense once they've super attacked. So they're not a slot one unit, but they're supporting all the Android allies. They heal on super attack. Um, they absorb key blast supers, which unfortunately this Goku doesn't have. But these guys will still be very useful. So you can see we have a lot of really top tier Android units that you could run under an Android leader skill. We also have the non-LR version, the physical Androids, 16 and 18. Um, they provide a decent amount of support. They have a chance to guard. Um, and then because there is a super class enemy, they provide 34% attack and 16% defense. So they can be another very, very good support unit. Um, they support all allies, so it doesn't have to be the full Androids build. Um, but these guys definitely very, very good. Um, we have units like the second form cell. Obviously, he's technically an android. If you're running Super 17 as the leader, this guy is the 50% support for extreme tech. Creates a bunch of tech orbs, so he can be pretty useful. And there's the World Tournament cell as well. He supports all extreme allies. So again, you don't need to have a full androids build for this guy to be useful. Um, but he certainly can be very good. Uh, very good support unit. Has big bad bosses, so works very well on some of these team builds. Um, definitely a good option. Uh, then, of course, we have the LR Metal Cooler. So, LR Metal Cooler, with his Wicked Bloodline 200% leader skill, not only is he very, very good on the team, but it is very possible to build a full target Goku team that is Wicked Bloodline. So, we talked about the uh, Android kind of centric build, but it's very possible to make a full Wicked Bloodline team. So, this guy, very, very good. Recovers some HP at the start of the turn if you're low on HP. Um, you get a bit extra as well. He also heals at the end of the turn if you have another unit whose name includes Metal Cooler, which we'll go through as well how many options there are for this. He builds up as he gets hit. He's just a very, very good unit, right? He has an active skill that can be used on turn 5, so again, not very likely to see. But this guy, very good defensively, can build up to putting out lots of damage. And then this leader skill, I do honestly think the most viable option for this EZA is going to be running the full Wicked Bloodline team if you have Metal Cooler. Now, if you don't have Metal Cooler, um, there is obviously the uh, Transforming Freezer, who is an Extreme Class 3 key and 130. So he's probably a better backup leader for this EZA than even like the LR Androids, right? Even though he's not an LR himself, he has a leader skill that's going to cover most of your team. He has type advantage, um, he heals at the start of the turn, and obviously he just gets more powerful as you go on throughout the forms. You're not going to see many of them because the EZA is not long enough, but this guy could definitely be very, very useful. Also, in terms of leader skill, we have the LR Cooler. Now, even though Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku is AGL... Um, units just have normal type disadvantage. It's not like a 30 stage EZA where certain units are doing like 80% reduced damage. So this cooler will actually still be able to be pretty good, especially since one of the best ways to build this cooler is with full crits. So of course, if he's critting, he's just damaging through the type advantage anyway. So this guy, very good. And then of course, with his leader skill, terrifying conquerors or movie bosses, even if you don't have this metal cooler, you can make a full Wicked Bloodline team since most of them are on Terrifying Conquerors. There's also a couple of movie bosses characters we're going to talk about near the end that you could throw in. 
uh, one of which even gets his full 200% leader skill because he has the transformation boost as the extra 30%. So I personally think the best way to build the team is either Physical Metal Cooler if you have him or this guy as the lead and then just throw on as many Wicked Bloodline characters as you can. Because obviously in terms of LRs, we also have the LR Golden Freezer who from turn one is almost invincible defensively. Um, and of course, remember with EZAs being shorter, you're not really going to get to the point where he's lost so much damage reduction that he will be a liability and potentially get you killed. So he should be very, very solid all throughout the entire um, Extreme Z battle. So definitely a worthwhile unit. Remember that uh, with EZAs, you can't use same name units. So if you don't have this guy, obviously you can use the AGL Golden Freezer or the Tech Golden Freezer. I think for this particular one, the Tech Golden Freezer obviously would be slightly better. Whilst he's not as good defensively because he doesn't have as much damage reduction, his defense is still going to be very, very good. It's going to be close enough to being, you know, as, you know, invincible. But he also has type advantage and he does more damage than the AGL TUR one. So this guy would be the top pick. And then if you don't have him, bring the Tech one. And then I guess you could say the same going back to like this guy, right? There's the tech final form cooler that got his easy A during the download celebration, who is actually pretty solid as well. You just can't use them both on the same team. So if you don't have this guy, but you have him and you want to run the Wicked Bloodline team, then the tech one obviously is a very good choice. And yeah, having a golden freezer on the team is going to be a very good pick as well. But to round out the team with this Wicked Bloodline theme, remember, I've only brought up the tech one here, but all of the free-to-play metal coolers, they're all uniquely named because they have their typing at the end of their name. So at the bare minimum, you could literally run a Wicked Bloodline leader, whether it is this guy, whether it's this guy, whether it's this guy, and then just run all the free-to-play metal coolers on the team right so the tech one obviously gonna have type advantage uh the str one is the one who will be at the most disadvantage but he is the support one so he is still going to be very useful as well so all the free to play metal coolers definitely are a worthwhile consideration to bring on the team um and then of course there is the agl uh tur dokon fest metal cooler he shares the same name as this guy though um, but he's another great replacement leader because he has a Wicked Bloodline 170 lead. So a lot of ways you can run a very strong like Wicked Bloodline team for this event. There's also this guy. Uh, he supports ter Terrifying Conquerors, which as we've already covered is basically most of the Wicked Bloodline units that you can run on the team anyway. And he has type advantage. So he'll be perfectly fine for this event as well. And then the last two I wanted to bring up is we have the Int Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Technically there is the STR one and he is an LR. So he's going to get that legendary power but he's got type disadvantage his defense isn't the best anymore but obviously if he's getting crits he could still be very useful i think overall uh, the int one is probably going to be slightly better just because he's better defensively can get off all those additional supers um he'll be very very good and then of course that brings up the tech lr super saiyan broly um, they have a different name. This guy actually gets the 200% leader skill from STR LR Final Form Cooler. So him being on the team would actually be pretty cool, right? He's a bit outdated now in terms of his defense, but he's still able to do very solid damage. And if you transform with him on turn four, you can use his active skill immediately to get guaranteed 24 key and an attack buff. And then even if you're not getting a bunch of his links active, uh, because say you've brought like the LR Final Form Cooler and mostly Wicked Bloodline units, you're still going to have like Fierce Battle and Legendary Power, and then he's getting this buff from his active skill, he probably just finishes off the Goku on that turn. So those are the top picks. If we go back to target Goku here, Baby is a little bit outdated now, but he's pretty good. Um, he doesn't fit onto like the androids or wicked bloodline leader skill. That's one of the only reasons why I didn't bring him up as a main choice. Uh, obviously, Tech Prime Battle Cell can fit in under that um, androids build. I should have mentioned the in Metal Cooler Army as well, because obviously they have their EZA on both versions now. Um, but these guys will be very good and don't share the same name as the other Metal Cooler units. So these guys will make a good addition to the full like wicked bloodline setup. These guys are okay. Freezer and King Cold, but they have type disadvantage, so I probably wouldn't put them super high on the list. Uh, I did mention this AGL Metal Cooler, but obviously he shares the same name as the physical one. Um, in terms of other tech units, I mean, Hit is on target Goku. He just doesn't mesh very well with any of the other characters, so didn't bring him up. Um, tried to stay away from STR units as much as possible. 
um, although some of them can be useful, like the Metal Cooler one. Uh, TUR EZA Cooler, obviously, very, very good support for that Wicked Bloodline team. You just have to be careful about him eating a super as you get to the harder stages. Uh, physical Final Form Cooler, again, a lot of these units, good options, but some of them will share the same names depending on the team build that you want to go with. So those are the top picks and honorable mentions for Target Goku for this AGL Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku Extreme Z battle. Let me know what you guys think down below. Like I said at the beginning, if you think there's any units I missed or should have talked more about, let me know in the comment section and let me know what your team build is going to look like for this Extreme Z battle. So I did get this Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku on my account thanks to that Purple Stone ticket pack thing. So mine is only 55%, so I will be doing a 55% EZA showcase for him once we've done his EZA. I know a lot of people are tempted to pick up that stone pack and want to know what he's going to be like at 55%, so I will be doing that showcase once we have done his EZA. So, like I said, I will be live streaming the EZAs, hopefully I'll see you guys there. And yeah, let me know your teams in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Mars Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.